Hi guys, today we are going to recreate the Facebook dialog box using jQuery and CSS. First thing you want to have set up is your HTML structure. The next thing we want to include the latest jQuery library. I am using 2.1.1. We will be using jQuery's animate method. Using this requires a width and height to animate to. It will not animate to a width or height of auto. So in order to get the height of our dialog with the height set to auto, we first have to get the height of the dialog. In order to do this, we'll have to use a little hack. So here's our structure of our dialog. We have the overlay, and then we have our Facebook dialog, and then inside of that we have a class called Fade. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So when we click on the show dialog button, the dialog appears. So everything inside of here is in our fade class. So the height of this div, our fade div, is set to auto. So if it's set to auto, it doesn't have a fixed height. In order to use the animate method, we need a height to animate to. So what we're going to do is we're going to use jQuery to get the height of our dialog. So in order to achieve this, we're going to have to use a little hack. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the overlay in Facebook dialog and we'll set the opacity to 1. And what that's going to do is when we click this, it's going to show this. But it's going to hide this dialog box. And it happens so fast you won't even notice it. So as this happens, we put the opacity to 1. We show the overlay, and we get the height of the fade class. And the fade class is the div of the dialog itself. So here is our fade div right here. And this is the class. So we get the height of that, and we store it in this variable, which is later used for the height in our animation right here. So now we have a height to animate to. So after we get the height, we set the opacity to 0 for the overlay and Facebook dialog class which is right here. So now that we have done that and we have got our height of the div for our dialog, we now remove the inline styles that we have set here for the opacity and we remove them. Next, we are going to set the Facebook dialog minimum height to 90 pixels. So now that this is all done, now we can show our dialog when the button is clicked. And the button simply is either a div, um, a link, or a button. It can be anything with this class. Feel free to change this class to whatever you want. So now when the button is clicked, we show the overlay. And now we can animate our dialog to a width of 225 is what we are going to set it to. So we start out at 225 and then we animate out on both sides. As you can see it, it's smaller and then it animates to our final width which is 448. Now our height you remember we set our height to 90. So now we're going to animate to the height that we got up here from our fade class. And once that's done, 
we will show our fade class, which is the content inside the dialog box. As you notice, when we open this, it animates, and when the animation is completed, it shows all the content in here. It shows the header, the text, and the buttons. And let's see that one more time. Notice it's all white until it is done animating, and then it shows the content, just like Facebook. And then, for the close of our dialog, we can use the cancel button, the close button, and the OK button. And you can change these to whatever you would like. So now that we have that set here, once the button's been clicked, the overlay, Facebook dialog, and fade class will fade them out slow. And then we will room, remove inline styles of overlay and Facebook dialog, those classes. So here is our structure. We have our button, which you can use anything like I said before. We have our overlay div. Inside of that, we have our Facebook dialog div, and that is what you we use to animate. Then we actually have our dialog, which is the fade class. And inside of there is any content you want to put right here. So I'm not going to go over all the CSS. It's just simple stuff. Um, usually I include the script and styles in a separate file. But for this tutorial, I just included them in here. So I have a link in the description for the demo of this and also for the files you can download. And again, here's our finished dialog box. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to rate and subscribe. Thank you very much.